Lee Ankrum here from the Ankrum Institute. Here's another tidbit. Let's talk about sinuses and ear drainage and sinus drainage and so forth. That's why you have those ENT doctors, ears, nose, and throat, because here it is. You can see in this picture that we have four sinuses, and these are nasal sinuses, which you hear me, I'm nasally today. Four nasal sinuses, two in the cheeks and two above the eyes. That's why there can be so much pressure in there that it really gives you a headache and actually can affect your eyes but in the short term while it's full. But here's a side view. Here's the throat, here is your throat, and here is basically, we're just sort of basically saying some of the sinus, um, sinus areas, is that from your ear, it drains into the back of the nasal cavities. From the nasal cavities, both of those drain down and into the throat. If I have a misalignment of the direction here, or I have swelling from either allergies, some kind of reaction going in here, what I'm not gonna get is good drainage down the throat. If I have constriction at the throat, I can also not have great drainage into the throat. So you have all of these pieces are working together, the inner ear, the sinuses, and then they go down the throat. Very important that these three, the canal is open so that these two can actually drain into the throat itself. Thanks much. Lee Ankrum here, Ankrum Institute.